Center, a uh, brand new name. Uh, the ink is dried five days ago. We're formerly the uh, Autumn Village Skilled Nursing uh, and Rehab Center. Uh, everybody was very happy to clean up real nice because Mr. Cabral is honored us by allowing us to celebrate this event with him. And I'm thinking on the way in, what a beautiful day. Sunny, 50 plus degrees, there ain't no snow, at least falling from the sky, right? Uh, and we don't have to contend with uh, bitter cold weather. It's just a, a beautiful day uh, to celebrate a phenomenal event. And I just want to thank you on behalf of all of us who work here uh, for your taking some time out of your schedules uh, to come and honor Mr. Cabral. Okay? I think we're going to uh, say the Pledge of Allegiance. We're going to say the Pledge of Allegiance. So, um, if you want to stand for this, you can. You don't have to. All right. All right. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, I just, uh, I'm Kate Jimmy, I'm the VP of Community and External Affairs, and um, I also have another role in this uh, city of ours, I'm, I'm also a city councilor in Worcester, uh, and that's how I happen to know my good friend and congressman Jim McGovern, who has been such an advocate for our veterans, and when he heard about this story, he was delighted to come here and to uh, help participate in reuniting Mr. Cabral with his dog tags. Um, I'm sure just about every one of you is a long time family friend or you've known him a long time. You know that he's an exceptional man. I heard great stories about you, how you kept people out of trouble. Uh, you know, my, my grandfather was a sergeant in the Worcester Police Department, so, you know, that's a good thing. Um, but I do want to mention, um, in my role, uh, I'm also, I have a colleague here from the City Council, Councilor Tony Economo is here. Uh, we also have just about almost everyone from the uh, Hudson Concord uh, 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 Elks uh, 959, uh, Jack Frankie from the Veterans uh, Liaison for Compassionate Care Hospice. Uh, we also have Joe Jacobs from the Veterans Services Offices, um, uh, Captain Burks representing uh, the Hudson Police Department, who's here for you. And um, uh, we also have Mr. and Mrs. Duda from the VA, Jerry Menage from the VA, um, and also my dear good friend, Congressman McGovern, whom is probably one of the hottest working people I know. I don't know how he does it and how he gets around, but he does. So um, it's an amazing thing. But we're here to represent, um, uh, to, to support him, um, Mr. Cabral, and um, Congressman, you know the story, so. Well, thank you. And um, thank you. Uh, first of all, let me thank Jerry and and, uh, and all the people uh, now with the at Worcester Health Center LLC. So I'm trying to get yeah. Hey, all right, I got the name already, but uh, this is an incredible place, um, and uh, as evidenced by the fact that we're we're doing this 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 little ceremony here today, um, I, I really appreciate the fact that uh, the people who work here never forget the service of our veterans. And I also want to thank uh, my colleagues in government, government Councillor Toomey uh, and Councillor Economo. Uh, again, two, as she says, I'm hardworking. Uh, being a city council is not an easy job uh, because people call you for everything. Uh, and these guys uh, work awfully hard, and, uh, and I'm glad that they're, they're, they're in the places they are because they serve our city well. Chief Burks, thank you very much for being happy. here. Uh, we're happy that you're here. And to all the veterans that are here, thank you. Uh, thank you for your service to our country, uh, and uh, and thank you for also the role that you play in making sure that uh, not only your families but uh, young people don't forget about the sacrifices that were made uh, to keep this country the freest, greatest country on the planet. And I say to people all the time, I got two kids. I've got a 15-year-old son and a 12-year-old daughter going on 30, uh, and you know I. There's never a day that goes by that I don't that I'm not grateful that they were born in this country. Look at what's going on all around the world. You know, I mean, look what we have here, and sometimes we take it for granted. But uh, my kids were born here, uh, and they're lucky that they were born here. Uh, and hopefully, they will contribute uh, as all of you have 
to keep this country uh, strong and to keep this country great. Now, uh, Chief Cabral uh, has an, this is a, this is this. I'm going to go go through a little history because this story is amazing. I mean, so Alfred Cabral's dog tags were found in Italy by a man walking on the beach in in Nettuno, Italy. The man brought them to a local cemetery commission and the family was notified by the Battle Monuments Commission. And the Battle Monuments Commission contacted the Hudson Town Hall because that was listed on the, do on the dog tags and they were able to trace the dog tags back to Alfred. The dog tags, tags were hand delivered to Washington, D.C. Uh, and today I have the honor of, of presenting those dog tags to, to Alfred. Uh, just let me give you a little bit of background, you know, about what this man did for this country. He served in active duty uh, from June 24th, 1943 to September 14th, 1945 in World War II. He served in Italy at the Battle of Arno in Germany at Rhineland in the European African Enemy Theater Campaign and in southern France. He received a Purple Heart because of stepping on a landmine that was under snow in France on January 10th, 1945. He was in a full body cast and was saved because of a drug that was being experimented on at the time called penicillin. He has also been awarded the Bronze Star, which was presented to, to you by my former former colleague Marty Mann. Um, as I refer to him as chief, he, he served as, he served uh, the town of Hudson as the chief of police, and he retired mm -hmm. in 1979. He married his wife Mary Eleanor Sharon on October 9, 1946, and she passed away in 1997. They have three children, Paul, Joseph, and Kathleen. And so I want to thank you for your service to our country. Uh, thank you for your service to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, to the town of Hudson. And I'm truly honored here to present you with the dog tags that were found in Italy and delivered to the United States. I mean, if I told you this story, you wouldn't believe it. Uh, but this is, it's amazing. So let me, first of all, read you a little letter here. Uh, this was from Max Cleland, who was a former senator. Some of you may know Max Cleland. He lost both of his legs in Vietnam uh, and in service to this country, and he became a United States senator. But now he uh, heads up the American Battle Monuments Commission. This is Dear Mr. Cabral, enclosed with this letter is an important personal item of yours. It is your dog tag. It's amazing to think that after nearly 70 years, it was found on the Anzio beachhead and presented to our staff at Sicily Rome American Cemetery in Natuno, Italy. Yes, it is truly remarkable that this item was found. This is a testament to your service as a member of the greatest generation during World War II. It is a testament that you were there in 1944, and I'm proud as a fellow veteran to return this to you. I know that some people may see this as a simple dog tag, but dog tags are much more. In some ways, the tags represent our military identity. And to me, dog tags are a testament of service and sacrifice. Many veterans save their tags for a variety of reasons, and I don't know necessarily why. Perhaps it's because we veterans wore these tags every day during a critical period of our lives as we fought to make the world a better place. That thought alone gives these dog tags a significant meaning. As I stated earlier, I'm proud to be returning your dog tag to you. And thank you for your service. Godspeed. Most respectfully, Max Cleland. And and I am now <clears throat> proud to present to you your dog tag. <laughs> and it's I had phone, I had a broad home, and I went, I walked away from the army, but they wouldn't let me, so I had to stay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, no. My honor. My honor. Thank you. Thank you.
I just have one more thing to give you. Um, American flag that was flown over the United States Capitol in oh, your honor. Great. Thank you. Uh, Just like to say, uh, just a word. Congratulations, Dad. <laughs> I'd like to thank all the folks for coming. It means a lot to him, and you know it. Thanks very much. <laughs> Here we are. Thank you for everything you've done for this country. I, I just have on, on a couple per personal notes. Now I'm sitting here and I'm watching this ceremony and I, I'm looking at two sons. I've got two sons. I hope they are as proud of me as your sons are of you, Mr. Cabral. I mean, it's an awesome situation. And, and, and my last message um, uh, from Brothers Schaefer. Uh, Jerry Schaefer, from, from my heart, uh, to all the veterans in this room, we owe you so much, and, and I am so grateful uh, for uh, what you have done, as the congressman has pointed out, for this country. From Brother Cliff Schaefer, none of you know my brother, uh, but uh, I'll tell you that he's a Marine. He was in the Corps for 18 years. Uh, he did three tours of duty in Vietnam. And uh, he gave me instructions today. Uh, he lives in Florida. And if you listen closely, you may hear him say to all the vets, Semper Fi. Hoorah. Hoorah. And also, uh, I want to recognize Steve uh, uh, from uh, Barry Fire Department. So he's, uh, he's also does double duty. He's uh, uh, yeah. one of our head uh, staff here at, at Auden Village. So thank Friend you also Steve. for being here. And uh, thank you very much, everybody. We have lots of refreshments across coffee and water, pastry. Um, I know that a couple of people mentioned that they wanted, uh, the Elks wanted to do a photo uh, thing, and I'm sure the family first. So um, anyone like who's... Say a okay. We, 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 before we close, Mr. Cabral would like to say a couple of words. <clears throat> I want you all to know, <clears throat> I graduated from high school. June 17th, 1943. I joined the Army June 21st, 1943. I'm very proud of it. I just wish I had found the dog tags myself. <laughs> I'd have brought them home myself. They found Thank you. They found them for you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.